the turtle. Um, we're dead. And chapter four. What's up with one stripped out the fat? You can't ah! fix it. If you hear the noise. And Why are you spitting on me? She's just like blowing raspberries at me. Excuse you. The hell? Get down. Get down. Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. Hey, calm down. Okay. We didn't come here looking for trouble. Yeah, well, it seems to have a way of finding us. <laughs> Look, this could be the guy from the radio. The one who's been messing with us. If he is, we can put an end to it. Right now. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side and cover your flank. Come up on him quiet, taken by surprise. <laughs> Just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. With bullets. <laughs> Some dude that likes to buy a newspaper, please. Please. What the? the? The assassin ninja boy! Oh, oopsie. <laughs> Ow. Follows. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. No, he's with us. What are you doing, small child? Who the hell are you people? I ask you first. The name's Molly. I'm late. This is Kenny and Clement. I'm looking for any trouble. Hi. <laughs> you guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Maine. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? Are you sure you want to know? <laughs> When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. 
folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. <laughs> been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking whips! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Is that you at our house this morning? Watching me through the back fence? Hell no. Believe it or not, I've got better things to do with my time. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survive. While the rest of the world went to shit. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these birds? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick? Anyone too old? Anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive? To them, those people were just mouths to feed. A drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Look, I'm sorry we bothered you. Just want to get her back home. We're not going anywhere until I find us a goddamn boat. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron! You wanna keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before- Great. Shot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a just gonna let him go? Hey! You can't just leave us here! Really? Watch! No! Please! Please! 
do turn around, boy. Come on, Lee. Get your ass out of there. Can't get it open. Here, use that to pry it open. It falls on his head. Run, Forrest. Time. Can you hear me? Nope. If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there. Shit. Well, what now? Guess we just go down. an opening <laughs> we oh thought he would slide down ah there we go My back didn't even get dirty, dang it. Ain't touching that. Last thing I need is some god awful disease. <laughs> I mean, technically, the la that is the last thing you will have. It's a drainage pipe. this way. Whoa, don't want to go that way. All right, let's just go here. Can I, like, pry it open? Didn't I have a wrench? <laughs> then don't. Won't turn anymore in that direction. Good thing I'm out here. Go anymore in that direction. Looks like some kind of drainage pipe. Oh, I know what we do. Oh, the controls for this are weird. Don't 
turn anymore in that direction. Oh, I just did the same thing. Uh. Won't turn anymore. Oh my arms! It's jammed. Oh my Amsterdam! <laughs> Alright, no GTFO. <laughs> They're gonna come at you like, oh my god. <laughs> Run! Go back to the passes. The passes. What's wrong, baby? What's wrong? Huh? I'm gonna give you a hug. All of them pass by. Go that way, yeah. This way. <gasps> no. Chuck, you must have tried to hide out down here. Poor bastard. Oh. You deserve better, old man. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm bad. Go fast. You're okay, nothing's wrong.
Okay, I'm back. Okay, now I'm back from taking care of responsibility. <laughs> it's a dreadful thing that. You go to the just door. Oh my God! Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh no 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 no. Well, I'm dead. Hopefully it puts me somewhere where I didn't make that dreadful mistake. Don't shoot him. They'll just, yeah, there you go. Shooting them is bad. Wait, what if I go right here? Can I go right here? No, I can't. Looks like somebody saw the damn thing off. Hmm. Those bars are way too solid. Well, you'll be able to pry with then, hmm? Should I walk through it? I don't know. Damn, I can't reach it. All right, I guess we're walking through it. The guy, I don't know, I just don't wander around. <laughs> Every time I hear that, like, just like Fallout Shelter, I always think of that song because of Fallout 4. Well, I'm the type of guy that likes to wander around. Every day is after all me round. I saw it. Okay, uh, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Uh, which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. I'm not from around here. I'm from Athens. Grew up in Macon. I have a brother in Macon. 
You were there? How was it? As bad as here? I'm sorry. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. Made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. It's all right. It's okay. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. You're really not from Crawford? No, I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Those sewers are like a damn maze. Any chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him? I'll see her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. 
Take me to him. Omid, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? Clementine? Clem, you in here? Clem's drawings, but where is she? Clementine, you hear? Don't see her out there. Maybe she's in one of these rooms. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, you know, just poking around. You won't find anything. We already searched the place. You'd be surprised what people miss. Trust me, I've been doing this for a while. Where's Clementine? Don't ask me, I'm not her keeper. Hey, do I look like I'm in the mood to be jerked around? Where did she go? Last I saw, she was downstairs with your redneck friend and that college kid who hangs around with him. Why don't you go bug them? All right. Oh, this is the bathroom. Okay. Oh, it's connected. I see. Clem? Clementine? Slide down the stairs. Cle Aww. Clementine! Weenie. Come out! Please! Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Good job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Found it. First good thing that's happened since... What the fuck were you thinking letting Kenny get like this? Hey man, I tried, but he gave me a look like he was gonna rip my face off. He won't listen to you. You think he was gonna listen to me? To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! Molly said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? Have either of you seen Clementine? Damned if I know. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ben, I gave you one job when I left here. Take care of Clementine. Then she shows up out on River Street looking for me. What the hell happened? 
Hey, don't put all that on me. Omid took a turn for the worse, and Krista asked me to help. I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can here. She was frantic, and things got kind of crazy. I told Clementine to stay put. What else could I do? It's okay. I'm not mad at you. I just want to know where she is. I think she went out to play in the backyard? On her own? With no one watching her? Man, will you get off my back? She's fine out there. She better be or it's your ass. Okay. Clementine? Clementine! How clammy time? Okay, good. You know, you always gotta check the doghouse. I don't know why I checked. Wow! Excuse you. What did you find? What? How do we not find that? Whoa. I know, right? Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? Let's get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? 
Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. We're armed and we've got the numbers. I say we just go in there and take what we need by force. Okay, that is literally the dumbest idea I have ever heard. Crawford's like a goddamn military base. They've got hundreds of people in there armed to the teeth. And that perimeter's guarded day and night. You're gonna have to be smarter than that. Oh, well, maybe we can be. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. Okay, that's not bad. That's better. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Clint. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better and get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I guess I should go get ready. Oh, uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Can't I come with you? <sighs> okay. I don't think they would let her die, would they? No, because the last season is her. And we still have another season to go. So. I'm trying to think what would happen if we didn't. There's a chance Odin would get infected, and there's a chance he would bite her. If we let her go, there's a chance that if her parents are still alive, which I'm not really sure about, they might be like, whoa, hold up, you know? But, on the other hand, if we go, there might be a chance that a lot of us would die. I mean, if we let her go, because she might slow us down. Um... Just to be safe, I'm gonna make her... Wait, no. Ah, uh, sorry. No. I'm sorry. Okay. 
I may have just made a huge mistake. Wait, no, I'm fine. Just if we leave her here, it's way safer. Because, I mean, she's still human in the last season, so. I don't know. Check out what I found in the garage. We'll just Hatchet, hacksaw, do a fast as it comes. Might come in handy on this little break in. Nice. Uh, excuse Can I me. Talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30 footer. So? So we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people, even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Kristen. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, it's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. We don't need her. She's just gonna slow us down. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You understand why you have to stay behind, don't you? I guess. Plus, you have a job to do. An important job. I need you to stay here and watch over the house. Watch over Omi. Well, what should I do if something happens while you're gone? Here, I want you to take this. You remember how to use it, don't you? It's just like I showed you. I remember. So if anyone tries to get inside the house that isn't one of us, or if something does happen to Omi... I know what to do. Let's get you inside. Let's get this over with. Underneath the center of Crawford, the old school should be directly above us. Okay, people, this is it. Remember the plan. We go in hard, hit them by surprise, grab what we need, and get the hell out. We need to do this fast, so everybody stay sharp, stay alert, and stay close together. Got it? Disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. Okay, me and Kenny will take this guy out. On my signal, the rest of you follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? 
Get inside, fast! Definitely. Shit. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than our guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do we even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Come on. I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, Star Wars, oh my god! <laughs> Just keep moving. Here. Okay. Everybody in. like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. would be the best place to look for medicine. Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. So then we just need a battery. This auto shop. It's right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No, two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. You might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. 
I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. So this looks like a kindergarten room, maybe. Pamphlet, what's this? That symbol. Like had quite a system here. Crawford's final solution. Look at that pretty nice dollhouse. Crayons and construction paper. We could use that. We can make a zombie mask. Blend in. Like I saw a fellow zombie bros. You know, just chilling out. About to hit the vape. Right, that's what zombies sound like. Pretty sure. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? Well, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Doc and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. <coughs> just not now. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katya and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, he seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. All right, time to go. Actually, no, it's time to leave. All right, leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the stream, even though no one watches it. Um, subscribe if you want. Um, if you want to play with me on PlayStation, username's Jason underscore Kruger.